Welcome everybody. Today we're going to go over some of my favorite stuff from Puppy Hammer, which is turning Poi moves into Puppy Hammer moves. Basically puppifying Poi stuff. In this example, we're going to start with a real fountain and we're going to add in a bunch of elbow transitions. So dropping into elbow mode and back into Poi mode whilst doing this fountain. And you'll see how many variations we can come up with. So let's first break it down into four different moves. So we start off our split time, same direction. We do a little turn to our left. We raise our arms up. We do a turn to our right as such. And then we lower our arms again back into the starting position. So at full speed, what we can do is we can turn, go up, turn, come back down and again. The next trick is to, instead of doing it in kind of four steps, we do it in two. So we start up high and we go down and turn, and then we go up and turn, and down and turn, and up and turn, and then obviously the next step is to do it continuously by removing all of the extra pauses. And this is your continuous poi mode reel fountain, which I've also previously referred to as a hip to shoulder reel. And you want to get this nice and smooth, and then we're going to add in these little elbow transitions. All right, so starting with the right arm first, we're going to spin it behind us. We're going to throw down into elbow mode. We're going to catch it in front of us, do one revolution in front of us, one revolution behind us over our shoulder, and then straight back down into another throw. And then catch, single revolution, revolution behind the back, and then straight into another throw. And this is it at normal speed. So we're going to do a throw, catch, over the shoulder, throw and catch. And now for the left arm on its own, we're going to spin in front of us. We're going to throw it down into elbow mode. We're going to catch it behind us, go for a spin over the shoulder, spin in front of us and then back into our throw. Catch, spin in front, throw, catch. And finally at normal speed, we throw catch shoulder in front throw catch shoulder in front and we rinse and repeat this so the next step is to integrate the right arm with the full fountain so for this we're going to do our fountain and we're going to drop our right arm here catch it in front before going back over the top so we drop catch over the top drop catch over the top then you guessed it, we're going to do the left arm. So we're going to go drop, catch, over the top, drop, catch, over the top. And so then you can start playing going between left arm, right arm. Or what we're going to do next is both arms. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop right, drop left, catch right, catch left, go over the top, drop right, drop left, catch right, catch left, back over the top. And now at normal speed, we throw, catch, over the top, throw, catch, over the top. All right, I'll quickly show you from the other view. So we're going to throw and catch, back over the top and reset. Throw and catch, back over the top, throw and catch, over the top. And doing it nice and continuously with both arms. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave you with one variation on this move and then I'm going to leave it up to you to come up with a bunch of different patterns. So here what I'm doing is I'm basically doing exactly the same move that we've covered but I'm doing it in what's called extension. So instead of having my arms kind of fold up over my shoulders and keep them nice and tight to my shoulders I'm extending them up in the air. Same move just slightly different arm positioning. So you want to practice this in poi mode first and then you can start throwing in these like little elbow transitions that we've been working on and this is basically an example of how you go from like a single point move which is this kind of fountain reel um, you add a bit of puppy and you've suddenly split it up into four different moves you've got it in poi mode you've got it with your right arm you've got it with your left arm you've got it with both you can then kind of add in extensions and you go from four to eight and this is my favorite thing about Puppy, is now you've got eight different things from one poi move, and then you can start doing them in different patterns. You know, you can throw the right arm and then the left arm, back to the right arm, left arm, and then do both combined. And then you can go into the same thing, but in extensions. And there's loads of different combinations, loads of different patterns. 
And yeah, this is just one of the kind of poi moves that I mixed up when I kind of first started Puppy Hammer. Kind of experimented a lot with. And yeah, looking forward to seeing what you do with your own poi moves. Anyway, many thanks and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.